If you're in New Zealand and you're a high-performance athlete and you need a quick meal and your first decision was to go to fast food, okay, you kind of fucked it up. But doesn't mean you have to screw up the second decision, and that is choosing a better menu, the lesser of two evils, at the place you ended up. Here are four places that you can go to get something that's reasonable so you can salvage that first bad decision and start working on some high-performance habits. And if you're not in New Zealand, you're more North American athletes, I think you'd be able to pick up the cues on what it is I chose and why. You should post in the comments what you would do and where you would go, no matter where you're at, to make a better decision. Back as in New Zealand, Mickey D's in North America, not a good decision for nutrition. But if you are in New Zealand and this is where you went, this is the one thing that you can get off their menu that will not be complete crap. You get two of these snack wraps, which is good, and a salad with no dressing. The macros and nutrition are pretty solid. The price is okay for what it is. Don't get this confused, the snack wrap with the aioli wrap. That changes the whole game. There's a lot more fat in that, and it makes it not a good decision. But if you're at McDonald's and you need something quick, this would be what it is. What's always held Wendy's back from being an okay decision, like at the last minute, is the amount of salt they put in their chili and the really fatty meat they use. They don't use a lean cut. It increases the saturated fat, increases the fat calories, it increases total calories, which isn't great. And the sodium is through the roof in the chili. It's kind of hard to recommend that meal at 2,000 calories on that single meal. However, for an athlete, we can use the extra salt, especially post outdoors endurance training. It's not too bad. Uh, the fiber of the beans, the protein, the carbs, good mix. You can grab it with a salad. It's all right. Um, if you happen to be doing endurance work and, and struggling really quick and need something fast, I've been known to grab one of the plain baked potatoes and a couple ketchup packets. It's carbs, easy to digest, a little bit of sugar, kind of gets the job done. I know it sounds gross, but when you got to get done, you got to get it done. If I needed a real meal, these two items would get me the protein and the carbs that I'm looking for. Yeah, well, protein in sushi is kind of tough to manage. Carbohydrate loads are really high, and holy shit, is it just different all over the world. Some places you get fabulous cuts of sashimi, and you can get good protein content with good quality fish. In other places, you're kind of stuck with what you get. So my choice is... And when I made the decision of what I would do here is, could I get it? What's my accessibility? And was the quality fair? Uh, I think St. Pierre's is fair. It's got multiple locations, so accessibility is good. But what really sealed the deal for me was that they delivered to New World, which is one of the local grocery stores, meaning the accessibility and the likelihood that I can get it consistently when I needed it was higher. These are the three rolls that I chose. No, you don't get three. You only get one at 20 to 25 grams of protein and 80 grams of carbohydrate, it is sufficient. If you needed more protein or you felt that you would be hungrier afterwards, half a scoop of protein and a shake and some water and an apple a little bit later, and I think you'll be fine. This is what I chose. It's on the expensive side for the things you can get, but I like rice, I like fish, I like chicken. They're all easily digestible. So I think it's a quality solution and this is what I would do. This is my go-to, and it's the one place nobody thinks about to go to on the fly for a lunch, and it's the grocery store. Yeah, absolutely. It can be just and fast, a hell of a lot cheaper, and you get better controllables. What am I talking about? Well, New World, Pack and Save, Fresh Choice, Countdown, all grocery store chains here in New Zealand. In the U.S., we've got tons, Albertsons, Kroger, Pack and Save, Food Lion, Trader Joe's, New World, you name it, right? You can go in, and you're going to buy the same items, though. You're going to get a rotisserie chicken, hot or cold, you choose. It's already cooked, ready to go. You're going to get a salad mix that you like. You can get an Asian slaw. You can get an Asian chopped mix. You can get a Caesar salad mix, right? And you're going to get something to wrap it in. A wrap, a tortilla, even a baguette or some bread, some bread rolls. You make this. Oh, well, I don't have a bowl to make the salad. You don't need a bowl to make the salad. You're going to pull some chicken off. You're going to throw it on the wrap, and you're going to bite the end off the corner of the salad dressing mix, and you're going to just drizzle it in like you would mayonnaise or anything else. It's a controllable. It's easy, it's fast, and it's less expensive. It says four portions, and each portion is half the price of everything else I've shown you. So you set yourself up for success, not just for this meal, but future meals, lunch for the next three days. The grocery store, keep it in mind, go there. This is a solution, this is what I do. It's the first place I'm scouting out when I'm going for lunch. Where's the grocery store? What can I get? Nailed it. This is a better choice. You started off with a bad place to be because you didn't pack your lunch. We don't have to make two bad decisions. We got to have high performance habits. And this is how you get started.